This video is going to write proportions and it's going to use real life situations or story problems to do that. This first example um, looks really long, but we're going to read through it and narrow down to the important parts. Bridget's on a camping trip with her family. They see a totem pole at their ranger station and she wonders how tall it is. When Bridget stands next to the totem pole, she casts a shadow that's four feet long while the totem pole casts a shadow that's 16 feet long. If Bridget is five feet tall, how tall would the totem pole be? So there's a couple different things you can do. I've got a couple steps listed over here on the side. I'm gonna pull these out and read over them. This first one that I have listed for you, it says write a proportion using the corresponding parts of the two objects in the problem. And in this situation, we have the height of the person and then we have the shadow or the height of the object and the shadow. So here's an example, height of person, shadow of person. Okay, this whole entire ratio is about one person. Then this ratio, height of totem pole, shadow of totem pole, this is about the object and we're comparing their height on top to their shadow on bottom. Okay, I'm gonna put that back. I'm gonna get this next little tab out. Number two says, now that you know the measure, or now you need to substitute the measurements. Substitute the measurements into the proportions. So basically I'm putting the numbers in place of where the words went. If I pull this one back out so I can see it at the same time, I have um, person height on top when we go look up in the story problem, the person's height, it says Bridget is five feet tall. So then I would put five, and this is how tall she is. And underneath that, it says I need the shadow for the person. When we read back up in the top, um, the shadow, it says that she cast a shadow that's four feet long. And then the word she is over here. So I'm going to put four. And then this is her shadow. The second ratio over here should be about the totem pole. And then again, we're going to say how tall it is and then the shadow on bottom. When you look back in the story problem, it says that the totem's pole shadow the shadow is 16 feet. The shadow went on the bottom, so I'm gonna put 16. And we don't know how tall would the totem pole be. You can put any variable you want there, or an X, or a question mark, it doesn't matter. What I'm gonna do is, I have a third tab over here, and it says that I wanna try to look at the relationship between the two objects. And I always want it to be through multiplication or division. Multiplication, never add or subtract. Okay. Um, it also says you can try to simplify the fractions. Right here, simplify the fractions. Or if you don't know what number is going to go in the missing spot, you can always cross multiply and then divide. So I'm going to scoot that one back out of the way. Because for this example, we can tell what's happening. The shadow of the person compared to the shadow of the totem pole, this has a perfect relationship. This is being multiplied by four. The totem pole shadow is four times longer than hers. So that means that the height of the totem pole should also be four times taller than what she is. Therefore, the totem pole should be 20 feet tall. Another thing you could do if you're a picture person and you wanted to do this, you could draw, um, um, this is the girl, and you could have this labeled. She's five foot tall. A in her shadow is four. And then you could have the totem pole. 
and also just do the same measurements. We only know that the shadow is 16 and we don't know the height. So if you like pictures, you could just do not even real sketches, but draw the lines representing the height and the shadow. All right, this second example, this one's really short. Katie uses a copy machine to enlarge her rectangular design that is six inches wide and eight inches long. The new width is 10. What is the new length? Okay, for this example, I'm gonna draw the pictures. So she has a rectangular design. Okay, this is the original. And the measurements for the original one is six inches wide and eight inches long. So I'm going to put my eight down here because that's a longer piece and then six on the side for the width. Now when I get ready to make my new picture, it's not the same size. She has enlarged it because it, it says so in the story. She's going to enlarge it. So I'm going to make a larger rectangle and then I'm going to put in the dimension. This one says that it's the width that you know and it says that the width is 10. So I would put a 10 right here and then we don't know what the length is. Again from the last um, slide whoops Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, from the last slide, what we were saying was set up a proportion and then um, see if you can determine the relationship. I'm going to take these two, the numbers for the original, 6 inches wide and 8 inches long, and I'm going to set that up. 6 and 8, and that's going to be equal to my new proportion or my new shape is going to be 10 by X. So if you can see the way I've color coded these, I'm putting the pink number or the width on top and then the length on bottom. So 10 needs to go on top for me and X needs to go on bottom. 10 and X. I really like color coding because it just makes it easy for me. But if you're fine not color coding, it's totally okay. This particular example, I'm going to go with the cross multiply and divide uh, method. 8 times 10. 8 times 10 is 80. And then when you're done, you need to divide by 6. So 80 divided by 6. That is going to be 13.3 repeating. And I know that's kind of small, so I'm going to come back over here um, next to my shape, and I'm going to write it down. The missing length is 13.3 repeating inches long. Okay, so I've just given you guys two different um, methods. You can draw a picture and color code it, or you can go back to the slide before when there was a story problem and you just write in the words.